Welcome to Credit Matters. I'm Mike Skirbo, Standard & Poor's Corporate Ratings Group. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the United Technologies and Goodrich acquisition. I'm joined by Gregoire Bouet, who's a director in our Capital Goods Group based here in New York. Gregoire, thanks for joining. Well, Mike. Oh, so provide some context on, uh, on the acquisition itself. We rate United Technology A uh, rating. We had a a rating before the acquisition, and uh, they announced a 19 billion transaction to acquire Goodrich. Give you some parameters there: 75% debt funded, 25% equity funded. So we're thinking, you know, an increase in debt level from about 10 billion to something like 25 billion, just to frame frame the picture there. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, this is, this is a significant transaction for for the company. And well, what was our view on the impact on, on UTC's rating? I mean, as I said, you know, we've been rating uh, United Technology single A stable since uh, 2003 about. And um, what we decided to do after this introduction is to affirm the single A rating, but revise the outlook to negative. And, you know, there are a couple of parameters that, you know, came into that equation. Um, we think the transaction is positive from a business profile perspective. You know, it's enhancing to the market position. It's an acquisition of a good technology portfolio, has some good characteristics. Um, and so we, you know, we say it could support an excellent business profile given the characteristics of it. Um, the flip side of that is obviously this is a uh, certain appetite for, for leverage that we haven't seen from, from United Technologies before. Mm -hmm. uh, it pushes the adjusted credit measure you know, fairly well below what we typically see at the, at the A, A level, uh, give you some parameters on a pro forma basis, it's expected 2011 numbers, we're looking at north of 2.5 time uh, debt to EBITDA leverage, we are just for fairly sizable pension obligations uh, at these two companies. Um, so, you know, it's a, the, the affirmation is a balance of a stronger business profile, but also a more uh, let's call it less conservative financial profile. Sure. Uh, and with these two parameters together, you know, we, we felt we could still maintain the, the single A rating. Well, what, one last question. So, so you referenced that we revised the rating outlook to negative. Maybe talk a little bit about what factors could drive an ultimate downgrade uh, of the single A rating and, and conversely, what, what, would, what would we be looking for to stabilize that, that rating outlook on UTC? Sure. Um, you know, I think our baseline scenario is that when you look at the combined entity, uh, we're thinking it's, it's, it's plausible that this company can generate, you know, three to four billion of, of discretionary cash flow. So you have right there, um, you know, some element for debt reduction and, and deleveraging. The management of uh, United Technology has said that they would hold on on share repurchases in the first year and, uh, you know, turn down the, the pace of acquisition. So, you know, we clearly see a path toward deleveraging and numbers that would certainly be more consistent with the A rating. Um, having said that, you know, the microeconomic environment is uh, relatively uncertain right now. So, you know, adverse development or a less muted than expected um, share buyback or acquisition uh, appetite in the next two, three years could certainly delay or, you know, if things really gets against them, compromise this return to credit measures. And we felt that, you know, maybe we were looking at a one in three possibility uh, of a downgrade if that plays out. As I said, our baseline scenario is for some debt reduction and deleveraging. And therefore, um, you know, I think that would be the argument, you know, two years down the road or, you know, within two years down the road to look at, you know, the track record of performance of deleveraging and potentially affirm the rating was a stable outlook at that time. Well, that's great. Thanks for joining. Thank you, Mike. We'll see you again next time.